How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another little video here. Um, uh, this is the Power Air Fryer. It's the extra large one. Uh, this is the new craze out. People uh, buying these air fryers. Now, I myself kind of like, I like the old school and I don't like change, but uh, my wife decided she wanted to get one of these. So, we picked it up, or she did, for about $127, and that's probably with tax. So, uh, they're a little pricey, but if you can eat healthier, it's probably a good machine to have. Now, uh, I personally really haven't used this thing much. I did one time before, and it wasn't a big thing. I just basically heated up something in it. But, uh, now, my wife made... we. We made a video on the popcorn chicken there a little while back and um, she tried to make some of that popcorn chicken in here and you just roll with egg and flour and then you put it in here and well these, these guys are not fryers I mean it's not like there's I, I guess they're a fryer but I don't know how you actually say it when you put it in there uh, there's no grease going around the outside of it so when you put it in there it's, it's all sticks in one big clump uh, and it kind of looks flowery, like even when it's done, it'll be brown. Uh, I'll put it to you this way, it wasn't that great for that type of frying. So I have some chicken wings I'm going to try today. Now my uh, daughter-in-law said that she made some pepperoni rolls in here and it, made, and it worked really well. I'm sure some things it's going to work great for, but there is some things that it's just not going to work uh, in the air fryer. So we're gonna do some chicken wings here and I'll show you a little bit about what I know about the machine, which isn't a whole lot, but I'll show you what I can. Okay, we'll just show you just a little bit about what I know about the machine. And uh, we do know you just push in on this button and the door comes open. And here's where you have your basket. This is actually pretty heavy, I think. Now your basket, you just push the little red button here and your basket comes out. This is what you're going to put, whatever you're going to cook in here. Say chicken wings or whatever. Now wait to say you can bake cakes and everything. So we really haven't tried it for that. Don't forget, this little pot is going to be super hot. You don't want to lay that anywhere. You don't want a bunch of heat. Make sure you put it on something that uh, you don't have to worry about burning because it's going to be hot. And don't Whatever you do, don't touch it. So that's the basket, and it just slips in there. Now, we'll go up to the top here. Now, this is something, you know, we have a hard time with, actually my wife has, is there's your power button, okay? Then you have your time that you're going to set it over here, and your temperature over here. Well, you have another button here. It's got fries on there. This has got ribs, uh, shrimp, then it's got cake, chicken, steaks, and fish. Okay, that's the settings they're already pre they're already preset inside these this machine. So I'm gonna turn that off now. Now them are already set inside the machine. So now if you're used to cooking something like these chicken wings, I would cook them in a deep fryer for about, say, 17, 18 minutes. I know it's going to say 20 minutes on here, but I'm not sure if it's actually how long it's going to take them. So I think a lot of the problem we have is, you know, you want to open it up and look in it all the time. So we're going to go ahead and get to putting our wings in here. I have a half a dozen wings. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning on them now. Got a half a dozen here. We'll just go ahead and put a little bit of seasoning. This is just that chicken seasoning I like. I'm sure you guys know what it is. If you watch any of my other videos, I'm always uh, using this seasoning. So we're going to put them down in there. We're not going to put any oil in here or nothing. We're just going to lay them right down in the bottom of this fryer.
Now I'm gonna go wash my hands to make sure I don't spread any germs here. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get these put into our air fryer. And then we're gonna set this thing on chicken. So I'm gonna go around this thing here until I come to that chicken leg, which I would think would be about the same. So it's saying 20 minutes. It's gonna take 20 minutes to cook these. Now these are already unthawed at 360 degrees. So in 20 minutes, let's say 10 minutes. I'm gonna look at them in about 10 minutes and then we'll see what they look like. Now if you notice, the machine is not really that loud. I mean, uh, it doesn't sound that loud while it's running. Just when it's cooling off, it seems like it's louder. I think there's a lot more air at the time when it's cooling off. Right now it's actually pretty quiet. So I'll come back in about 10 minutes. All right, our 10 minutes have just snapped on there. And uh, I got me a cookie rack down here just to keep that thing from laying on the counter. And I'm gonna take in these, I'm gonna flip them over. Now they're starting to get a little bit brown, so that's a good sign. I'm just gonna roll each one of them over in here. That way they, they'll kind of cook a little more evenly on both sides. And they don't seem to be sticking to the pan at all. So we're going to stick them back in there and we're going to give them the rest of their time. Now I think it should actually start off right where it left off and it should keep going. So we got 10 more minutes. I'm just going to let them cook because they definitely didn't look like they were done. That's the rest of our 10 minutes. And there's our wings. They sound like they're cooking good. So what I'm gonna do now is I have a thermometer here and we're gonna see if these guys are as hot as we need them to be. So we're gonna get in here without trying, trying not to hit the bone. And we're gonna see if these go up to 190 degrees. So that one there has definitely went up to 190. So I I would take it that these wings are done. Now that was 20 minutes in the air fryer. Now I would probably cook them 17 minutes in the deep fryer, but I have to let the deep fryer heat up. Uh, for how long does it take for it to heat up? So if you compare, like if you was going to compare the electricity you'd probably use more on the deep fryer than you would the air fryer. Oh, so we're going to go ahead and get these out of here. We'll see what the bottom of the pan looks like here. Now they say this is better cooking for you. So hopefully we're going to have a bunch of grease in the bottom of this pan that's probably not going to be on our wings. Which if we was deep fry them, they'd be merged in there. So let's look down in this pan. There's some stuff coming off of it. Let's look down in here. There's a lot of grease in there. So we did take a lot of grease out of the wings. So I'm going to say that these wings are probably better for you because uh, you know all the grease is everything's in the pan. So, let me get these plated up. Well, while I was waiting on these to cool down just a little bit, because sometimes when you bite in them until you're real, really hungry, they burn your mouth. So, while I was waiting, I went ahead and washed the pan up. Now, I had no problem cleaning the pan. Nothing stuck to it. It, it actually cleaned up really easily. And uh, it, it was like a breeze. So, it, cleaning was easy on it. Now, the wings, I think, turned out really good. Now, something like this, I think, will turn out good. But if I was going to roll these in flour, uh, it's not like a regular deep fryer. 
it, they're still going to have a white texture to them, but they're going to have brown spots on them. So let's say you want to beer batter some fish and you want to throw it in there. Well, it's not going to work because it's a wet batter and there's no oil in there to, you know, kind of cook it as it's going in the grease. So the only thing I'm saying is if you want to buy one of these, and I'm not telling nobody not to because I think they're actually a really good machine. Uh, you're just probably going to have to work on different recipes that will work better than others. So uh, I think it's a good, and it'd be healthy for you too, because like if you want to cook a steak, I'm sure a steak would cook good in that thing. Or a uh, hamburgers, I think would work good, because all the dripping would be in the bottom. But now, that's not something I'd deep fry either. So it's not really a deep fryer. Now, let's say you throw french fries in there. You still got to take your basket and fluff them up a little bit because they're all going to get crispy on one side, but not the other. So you, you have to turn them around a little bit and move them around in there. And we have done fries in there and they're pretty good. They're not that bad. But basically, if I'm going to buy one, if you're looking for one of these, um, look up some reviews on YouTube, actual people uh, making stuff with them. Because, you know, when you watch the show, man, everything comes out perfect. But, you know, that's all cameras, too. So everything can come out perfect. So watch the videos. Uh, watch some reviews. Talk to people. Maybe find someone that has one and ask them about it and see what they think about the machine and what they cook and what they cannot cook in it. Because it's not really, don't think of it as a deep fryer because it is not a deep fryer. A deep fryer, if I wanted to batter dip, dip something, I could do it. Well, this machine, you can't. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped out a little bit. I know I don't know a lot about it, but maybe in the future we can do another one and uh, do some different recipes in there. And if you guys have a good recipe and you have one, uh, send me a recipe. Just uh, let me know. I I'd like to try. I love to eat. You know that. And I love to cook you guys because I know I'm going to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.